Good morning. And welcome to, we have run into a little problem yesterday, Winnipeg. Just a little problem, nothing really serious. But it, it appears that I am missing some parts. Uh, yeah, I guess it'll be explained in the rollback. And uh, it has to do with, uh, whoops, it has to do with these little guns here. Yeah. Um, this morning I thought of a solution though. Uh, but we'll, we'll get into that after the rollback. Let's, let's just sort of roll back and, and uh, then, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, and by the way, the sun did come up this morning. It, we had a, an acceptable sunrise. Okay, we are continuing on here this afternoon. And if you remember at the end of yesterday's episode, we had glued our little ladder in place and we'd use CA glue. But I'm noticing that if the light catches that just right, or maybe I should say just wrong, you get quite a flash of light going on. Uh, so I'll put the macro lens on and we'll zoom right in there. And uh, maybe we could use some uh, clear, uh, flat clear or something like that. Yeah, I think flat clear would be better than the way it is right now. I'll put the macro lens on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now what I'm about to do here is probably going to momentarily make everything look a little bit worse. But I think after this dries, I think it'll be flat. At least that's the plan. Okay, I've got a small problem going on here. Well, first of all, a little over two hours has passed since we did our flat clear right in there. And I think if anything, it made it worse. Now, I don't know, it, it could be that this flat clear is, is uh, not as flat as it used to be, but I. You know, I mixed it up. I stirred it up good. You know, I sampled from... It's not like I sampled from the top of the jar or anything like that. Anyway, uh, that's not a big worry. I was going to uh, drop down these 50 caliber quad guns. And uh, they, they're supposed to go right here and here. And uh, I couldn't find them. Couldn't find them anywhere. I looked for about five minutes and I thought, well, maybe I've stuck them somewhere on the deck on, on the Rodney. So I went and I checked and the only place I can find them is there are two. Like the ma the manual says make two. It doesn't say make four. And and yet, here here they are. And so I thought, oh my goodness, I've made a mistake. I put the wrong guns on on this module. But then when I checked back, the the <laughs> the plans call for the, this gun right here. So, uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to put something else there. Maybe I've got extras of a different kind of gun. Um, I mean, who's to know? Um, but now, let, let's talk about our lights here. If you will recall, we uh, did one in blue. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe paint over that or being as this, if I have these, if I, if I have these facing out uh, to the side, we're not, you're not going to see both at the same time. You won't know that one is blue and one is not. So maybe I'll put the blue one on on the uh, port side, and uh, because that's going to be the side against the case. Um, yeah, I think that's what what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this blue one, and um, that would be, I believe. I believe this is facing the bow this way, so we'll, we'll stick it in uh, uh, this this one right here. 
At least that's the plan. But that's kind of strange about these quad guns. Why would they say make two, and then later on in the manual there's definitely calls for four altogether, and, and we're not through yet. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I thought to check here. The The bow would be that way. So that would mean if it's in its case and, and we want to have the uh, blue against the against the back of the case, okay, the bow would be facing this way, uh, like the Bismarck and the hood are. And uh, so that would mean that the the blue one is going to have to be mounted on this one. Okay? So, uh, yeah. Now I'll just turn it so it's convenient for me here. And we're going to have the, the, the uh, what you might call the clear one. You know what? I got a feeling I'm going to have a problem putting it in there. That, that hole looks like it's it's been plugged up a little bit with paint. So, uh, I don't know whether I should take this peg down a little, or maybe uh, maybe I'll just try a little bit of uh, Tamiya extra thin there. And uh, whoops, careful, Ron. There there is some fragile stuff on here. There's a, there's a little tiny crank. Don't know if you can see it. It might silhouette against the green cloth there. Um, it could be bent, so I've got to be careful here. Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, clear that hole out. Maybe I'll put the macro lens back on. Okay, I was thinking of using the uh, Tamiya extra thin quick setting because it's more it's more thin, but then on the other hand it has a tendency to dissolve very very quickly, so I'm just going to use the the ordinary extra thin here. This is one of uh, <clears throat> Gabe's little swabs here. Oh, he uh, Gabe sent uh, sent us a uh, email with a link to uh, um, you know where where he got his from, and uh, so I've ordered 400 of them from Amazon. They should be here on. I think they're coming Saturday. No, they can't. Yeah, they'd be coming Saturday. I was going to say they couldn't come on Saturday because there's no mail service on Saturday, but then I doubt if Amazon's going to mail them. They have, uh, Amazon has excellent service here in Winnipeg. Oh, I think that's going to fit. Well, I thought it should. Maybe I'll get skinnier tweezers here. Maybe I'll put some right on, on here. <clears throat> I don't want this to start drying up on me. Whoops, I dropped it. Uh, Ron. Where's this going? I can't seem to find get the peg in the hole. Now why won't that go? We're going to have that, that peg 
dissolved completely away here yet. How could something so simple get so complicated? Now, am I going to have to just cut that peg off of there and just sort of eyeball it? I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I've, I've cut the peg right off. I'm just going to set it there. Just have it sort of... Yeah, it looks like it's uh, symmetrical all around. Maybe it could come my way just a little bit here. Okay, we'll let that uh, dry and uh, nobody's going to know that the peg's not there. I may as well cut the one off the other one right now and get it over with. As I'm sitting here right now editing this out, I realize what the problem is. The problem is that this platform is designed for the guns that go down on it in the Nelson kit. The Nelson kit doesn't even have a Q-sprue. It doesn't have those quad guns, at least not as far as I can tell. So, uh, yeah, and it doesn't have the spotlights here. It has guns here. So th that's what it is. The, those little guns probably have a much smaller peg, and they probably would have worked. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of them. Okay, here's what's happened. I went all through the manual, right through to the end, very carefully. And I counted to see how many of this type of gun do we need. And I counted 11 in the manual. So then I went to my box where I was keeping all these. And I've got exactly 11. So we don't have any extras of these. But what I'm going to wait to see is... Oh, another thing I did was I, I went through all my sprues looking for, uh, you know, another couple of these somewhere. And I, I couldn't find anything. But what I'm hoping is that there's going to be somebody else that has already made the Rodney, or, or maybe even the Nelson. I don't know, I should maybe check the Nelson manual just for the fun of it. Maybe I will later. And uh, see how many, uh, you know, what, what the Nelson did here. Or maybe the Nelson sprues were different. I don't, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I want to see what what did other people do that had the Rodney kit? Because these kits would all be basically the same, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm going to just, just leave this now for this evening. And uh, I think I'm going to go and check and see what the Nelson manual says, just for the fun of it. And in the meantime, <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning, and as you've already seen, I did check the Nelson manual because I dubbed in some of the graphics. Uh, all right, now, this is what I'm thinking. Right now, this piece is facing towards me. In other words, the, the bow is pointed at me right now. And this side over here is going to be against the side of the case. Now, when, when we're looking down on this thing from, from the outside of the case, we are going to see both of these platforms, especially this one on this side. But we'll also see this one. We'll, we will notice if there's nothing there. However, now, so let me make some room here. Okay very gently. All right. Now, this this side here, uh, where are we? Yeah. Uh, this this side here will, will not be seen. Just let me put it just a little bit more the same direction as the manual, so it makes a little bit more sense. Okay. Now, we are on step 40 here way ahead where we start dropping these guns down 
I think almost all of them get dropped down. All 11 of them get dropped down in step 40. Uh, or very almost, maybe 9 of them. It doesn't matter. All right. I think this goes here. Goes something like this. Where are we here? I got this backwards. Okay, where where does this stupid thing go? Yeah, there. That's it. All right. Good thing they didn't rely on me to build a battleship. Uh, okay. <clears throat> So now, now this side right here is going to be against against the back of the case, and I'm, I'm noticing that a couple of the guns get dropped down, and they one of them gets dropped down, and it is put. It looks like right there. Okay, in all likelihood. We are not going to be able to see this, this gun. Uh, when 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 the ship is in its case, no matter how hard we try. Okay, so there's that one, and then. What where's it go? Oh, there, there's a hole there. I couldn't I couldn't see it for the splinter guard. Okay, yeah, okay. So it gets dropped in right there. You yeah, if you looked in at an angle like this, you might see that this one was missing, but. Uh, and then there's another one that that goes on a uh, a thing that we have to mount on this this square, uh, you know whatever it's called. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know I mentioned in a uh, comment to uh, Jeff Donahue yesterday uh, how it is that I I I I can't think of words when I need them. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah, we will just keep going here. So, bottom line is, uh, okay, so this one gets dropped down here. This one gets dropped down here, and we're probably not going to see them. So, I think I am safe, in other words, to take and put two of these guns here in in on the platform. And then when 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 we come to make, doing the uh the uh port side of the ship, uh, we, we just won't put them on <laughs> and nobody's going to know because uh, like I say, it's going to be towards the back of the case. Um, my goodness, uh, a lot of words to, uh, say something very simple here. All right, let's, let's just sort of move on. Uh, let's put this, this back before we break it here very carefully. One, one of the few places I can pick this up is like right here. Okay, let's see if we can get these in. Now, I would think that this peg is going to fit in there, but you know what? I'm looking at it right now, and I'm, I'm a pretty good judge of, of sizes. And I can see that this peg is too big for that hole. It's just not going to fit in there. And we are probably going to have the same problem. Now, I can maybe drill out the hole, make it bigger, and that way it'll keep everything centered. Or once again, I can just take my nipper and, and cut this peg off. Um, uh, that that was a surprise. I was expecting this this peg to be much smaller than it is. Well, let, let, let's just sort of stick this back on here for a moment while I think of what I'm going to do here. See, I can't really easily get a bit down in there. I might accidentally catch on something. Um, I'm, I'm going to end up damaging the splinter wall here. I, I think that the, the best thing to do 
is uh, cut this peg off. Now, is this thing going to stay balanced there, though, or is it going to fall over on me? Um, just let me recompose here. Okay. Now, I know I could use my uh, this thing, but I'm I'm afraid that this is this is actually safer because as I'm trying to turn my uh, pin vise, that uh, I'm going to catch it on something. Whereas with this, once I get it sort of lined up and carefully squeeze the trigger, uh, I, I think that I am less chance of having something break something off. So, so that's the plan. I, th I think this is going to work. I'm going to try and get as close to being square as possible. Okay, we are through. Ooh. There's no reverse on this thing. Um... All right, now the other one. Okay, I think I can come down right between these two here. No, I, I don't want to go like this, right? Okay, I did enlarge the hole, but you know what's happening? I don't know if you can see it there. You see that glinting? That's uh, that's our photo etch piece. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't break it off. But I think I've enlarged the hole enough there. I'll, sl I'll slip the macro lens on and we'll see, see what's going to happen. Okay, the uh, bow is facing towards you. So when we place this, we're going to want to have it something like this. Now, I think that's going to go in. Just let me, whoops. Okay, we'll try this again. Get a little bit of glue here. Soften the peg. Soften our hole. Okay, now, um, rather than having the gun pointing straight towards the bow, I'm going to have it maybe just a little bit off. Just a, Maybe that's too much off. Just turn it a little bit like this. Just a little bit off. Probably about five degrees. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. Let's try the other one. Okay, the bow is to your right. I don't think 
think I got enough on there. Okay, so if the bow is to your right, we'll have it pointing this way. You know, I'm wondering if I should have been grabbing onto this thing differently. Well, what you see is what you get. Okay, this first section of number 31 is done. Now moving to our right, we can either do this part or we can do this part. And being as this piece right here is closest to what we just did, I guess it sort of comes next. So if we do this section right here, and this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah. All right. This piece right here is this piece right here. Because if I was to turn it like this, it would be right to the world, wouldn't it? Um, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and nip that off. And uh, then we have to find some, uh, some plastic parts. It, it appears that... This, this part here, this part here goes between two plastic parts. I guess we'll see once we, once we get at it. And this, this railing here, number 13, we, we already got that. I wonder, why, I wonder why I didn't get this piece. Well, probably for the same reason I didn't get these up here either. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to call today's episode a day. And uh, we'll do this in tomorrow's episode. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>